said you're a black man. Watch this. All right, what we reading? So, so, this is good, brother. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Okay, bro. We're going to give you son. Can you identify with this right here? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Has that ever happened to our people? It has been done already. All right, now what is that called? Slavery. Slavery. All right, this Bible is talking about those people on the back of that sign right there. Read, read, a, read a couple names for me. Judah. You're Judah. I'm an American black man. All right, now read, read it again. Watch this. This is how we know. This is how we know that the Bible is talking about you. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What was that people that we were given to? Who was that people that we were given to? And who else? All nations. All nations took part. Some of our people took part. If we if we were in China right now. We be talking about the Chinese man as our captain. But we're in America, that's what we were brought at. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So when we were given to another people, did we have any police to call? Did we have a military that would can come and get our sons and daughters back? That's why the Bible says, our eyes shall what? Longing for them all the day long. Read it again. Thy eyes shall Thy eyes shall, uh, thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Because we saw our children being taken away. We wanted to do something, but we failed because we didn't have any means to get them. You understand? That's what it means that our eyes would fail. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Give me on uh, 37. Don't go nowhere, bro. Don't go nowhere. Give me 37. Verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. You all right, bro? You say you ain't got no rights? You got no rights? Let me show you what rights you got. Go, go, you know what I want. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me show you your rights, bro. Here's your rights right here. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. If don't nothing else change, just right here, I ought to give you these rights. Yes, sir. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto You hear that? The Bible says you are holy people. Holy means you've been hand-selected and separated. Read. For thou art a holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. You hear that? You hear that? God says you are holy unto him. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God, look, God already, God already done chose you. You understand what I'm saying? God already done chose you. Right? The pressure that you're feeling, you're supposed to feel it. That's what turns us back to the most high God. Pressure. He know we're stiff necked and hard headed people, so he's gonna put us through pressure. But this is what he said to you, read. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So, if you want to be that special people, bro, then you got to obey God. There's some things you got to do. You understand what I'm saying? It's, you're not out here by coincidence. You going through this, the most I say, look, go down the block. We got some brothers that's going to talk to you. Read. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did you know that? Did you know that you was above all people on the face of the earth? No, 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 you are. You, huh? You feel it in your spirit. That's why you here. So what we got to do is bring you back to life. Right now, you walking in the congregation of the dead and you feel it you feel that death grip on you bro but we're gonna get it up off of you give me john six uh-uh john six life yep 63 watch this the book of john chapter 6 and verse 63 it is the spirit that quicken it so bro the bible the bible says it's the spirit that quicken if you don't understand what quicken me yeah, make a lie it's the spirit that makes you alive. What is the spirit? Watch this. It is the spirit that quickeneth. 
The flesh profiteth nothing. You ain't, your flesh don't want to do this. Your flesh, your flesh want to get that drink on Sunday. That flesh want to roll up that thing. That flesh want to hit old shorty behind you. The flesh ain't going to profit nothing. Read. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. These words right here is what's going to bring you back to life. And they are life. Come on now. Come on now. You understand? So, what, what questions you got? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring you the word. So what do you what do you believe in? What what do you believe in? Most high God. Okay. Trying to identify with who everybody says who God is, what color kind of Jesus Christ he is, and all this stuff. But you know I, that matters, right? Yeah, yeah. All that, all that matters because if you if you say that color doesn't matter, no, then you can't identify. No, you can't identify His people. If you say the color doesn't matter when it's written in the Bible, you can't identify His people. Does this color right here does that matter? It, it really matters because. When Christ said he coming back to save his people. No. 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 Give me John 3.16. That's what's on your mind. You got John 3.16 on your mind. No. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you might. Watch this. I watch too many wars. You watch too many wars? Watch. Watch this. We're going to read John 3.16. Read. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have ever that everlasting life. So that's it right there, ain't it? It's a it's it's a it's a everybody. It's a everybody. But have you read up two verses? Have you read two verses above John 316? We're gonna read it from you. Read 316 again and then we're gonna go up two verses. John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So it said God loved the world. That means who? Everybody, right? Everybody. God so loved the world that he gave his son. You can't exclude nobody. Read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him. Whosoever believed in him, right? That's everybody. You can't exclude nobody. Read. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. All right. So now, this is where we get to the point where we bring understanding and show you exactly. No, no. I'm helping you out. Watch this. Go, go on, go back up to 14. John 3, 14. John chapter 3 and verse 14. And as Moses lifted up a serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. All right, you got to read that slow. I want the brother to hear everything that come up. And as Moses lifted up the serpent. So we're going to find out how Moses lifted up the serpent because it says, what? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. That's the subject. The way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness is the subject. Read. Even so must. Even so. Even so. The same way that Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. The, even so. The son of man. Jesus the Christ. Be lifted up. So the exact same way that Moses lifted up the serpent is how Christ is going to be lifted up today. Now we're going to give you some understanding on it. Deny Christ. I can't say a word. Huh? No, we're not going to deny Christ, but listen real good. So we're going to show you how Moses lifted up the serpent. You ready? The book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 5. And the people spake against God and Moses. So it says the people spake against God and Moses. What people? The Israelites. The Israelites. Not all people. Not all people. Just the Israelites. So the same way that Moses lifted up the serpent, it's the same way that Christ is going to be lifted up to who? No. The, who, the, who is Moses dealing with? Read. And the people spake against God and against Moses. What people spoke against God and Moses? So the same way that Moses lifted up the serpent, he's going to lift up Christ to the same people. To the same people, though. Read. Question. Question. I'll let you ask the question. As Jesus is as a man, he is man. We're gonna finish reading this. No, you, 
You don't you don't you don't see that in the Bible, no, but but he's married to us as a nation. Right. Our wedding vows are those commandments. What happens when you don't keep your wedding vows? You get divorced. You understand? But let's go back. You gotta you gotta keep your mind focused on what we're talking about. Remember get that right there, I broke the vows of God. Remember we're talking about John 3.16. We're trying to get that out of your head. So what people live in Egypt? What people from Egypt? What they look like? They black. They black, right? But what did God do? Read. Read that last part again. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt? Brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness. So he didn't bring those other black people out. He brought the Israelites out right he brought the Israelites out so the same way that Moses dealt with Israel that's how Christ is going to deal with Israel and only Israel Marie for there is no bread neither is there any water and I was so loaded this light bread and the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people so the Lord sent fiery serpents against what people Israel not all people not all people on the planet. Moses is only talking to who? The Israelites. The Israelites. So when you read these commandments, when you read these commandments, who are these commandments written to? Not the whole world. No. But we're gonna we're gonna keep reading because we yeah. give you the understanding of John 3:16. Read. And they beat the people, and much people of Israel died. Much people of who died? Israel. Not the whole world. This this is what's gonna lift you up right here, knowing that. God has always been dealing with us. And not all the people on the planet. He's always been dealing with us since the beginning of time. Read. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. We sinned, Moses. We sinned, Moses. Us, the Israelites. Yeah. You, you, just, you just took us out of Egypt amongst those black people. Now we're in the wilderness thinking about Egypt. So we sinned. We still got Egypt on our mind. The Lord sent them fiery serpents. They started lighting our behinds up. Tearing us up. Boy, now we now we scared. You see what I'm talking about? That fear. What what black people do when they see a snake? They get the get the jumping. It's in us, huh? You step on their head, right? Come on, read what you got. For we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that He take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. And set it upon a pole. You ever seen that fiery serpent on a pole? You never seen that? Yes, you have. Okay. You ever, been, you ever been to the hospital? Yeah. You ever seen the ambulance come down your way? What's, what's on the What's on the ambulance? That serpent. That serpent. And what does that represent? Healing. When you see the ambulance coming with that fiery serpent, you're like, yep, there go my healing right there. So, so this is what they this is where they got that from. That's our stuff. Our symbol. Everybody wanted to be us. You understand? So what did Moses say do? And set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Everyone is who? Who is that everyone? Or or what? Everyone. Who was who was Moses talking to? So we're not talking to no Chinese. We're not talking to no Russian. You understand? We're only talking to the Israelites. The Israelites were there with Moses. Right. But we're breaking down John 3.16, you remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're breaking down John 3.16. Come on, come on with it. Come on, read. Verse 9. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man. Don't leave yet, bro. Don't leave yet. We got to give you some more. 
You gotta go. Yeah, I'm go ready for these people. I need to show my ass up. We gonna okay, okay. We gonna make it real quick. Go ahead. When he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Now go back to John 3:16. We'll make it real quick. You ready? Yes, sir. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world. Who's that world? Who's the world that we were just talking about? Right? God so loved. You got it. You, you ain't listening. Okay, read. Read. I'm going to give you a quick cut. I'm going to give you a quick cut. Watch this. Finish reading that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hey, listen. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Who did God send his son to save? Give me that. Uh, Matthew 15, 24. No. We, we go, the Israelites only. Only. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep. Are you lost? You came up here and you was lost. You understand? Read. Of the house. The lost sheep of the house of who? You listening? The lost sheep of the house, meaning not everybody's house. Everybody don't live in your house. Only your family lives in your house. So Christ was sent to who? I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who Christ was sent to. Not everybody else. That's John 3.16. All right, what's your name again, bro? Jungle. 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 All right, Jungle. That's my name. Bro. All right, Jungle. Hey, while you walk, give me um Matthew 19, 16. While you walk, we're gonna we're gonna hear this from behind you. Listen, listen, listen good. The book, the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So, so Jungle. What is it that, how is it that you're going to receive eternal life? By accepting Christ? What are you talking about, Jesse? Uh, if I believe in my heart that Christ died? No, no, it's some shit. I believe in some stuff I got to do. I got to believe that he died. What does it mean to believe? Go back to, hold that and give me, um... I'm going to show you what it means to believe. And then it will, these last two, if you got to go, you can go after these two. Yeah, you give me belief, I'm going to give you the belief. Read. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me. So you say you believe on Christ. He that believeth on me. As the scriptures had said. As the scriptures say. Not what your pastor say. Right. As the I scriptures say. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, so you believe as the scriptures say, now go back to Matthew 19. We're going to give you some more understanding on that. That's where we was at first. This is it. Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I might have eternal life? So that's what you, when you walked up, you was like, yo, I'm feeling it. What do I got to do to get out of this condition? That's the question that the man came and asked Christ. What do I have to do to receive eternal life? Because this ain't no life right here. This is not a life. So let's let's get life read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? This is Christ saying. Christ like, bruh, why you calling me good? I'm going through the same stuff you going through. Why you calling me good? Read. There was none good but one. He said, ain't nothing good but one. Who is that? That is God. That's God. Don't call me good. My father's the one that's good. Read. But if thou will enter into a life. So don't you want to enter into life? So this is how you do it. Keep the commandments. That's simple. Right? Quicken. You want your spirit to be quickened, bro. The most I sent you out here to quicken your spirit. If you don't if you don't remember anything, remember to keep the commandments of God, bro. You can find us on your website. He got a flyer? You can find us on that website, bro. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 